Before we start, if you're missing one or even both items listed in blue, that's okay. I'll be showing you where to pick these up as we move along. Also, there's some combat involved later, but if you recall the waterfall quest, you can take combat gear into Galerza's tomb. Luckily, we do have a few options to sneak a weapon in. We could A. Craft a blister wood weapon, preferably a staff, that way you only need one log. B. You can split a god sword and combine them once in. C. You can craft a draymon branch into a draymon staff. This is the method that I will take. Now, of course, the staff is a tier 1 weapon, but is a lot better than straight up using your fist to fight the moss giant. It will allow us to at least cast out of spells. Also, make sure that you're on the proper spellbook before going in. And last but not least, if you're going to go ahead and take any of the magic methods, of course, go ahead and take your Wicked Hood so you can withdraw some air runes later. So go ahead and choose whatever method you wish. Also, just note, through a short time during the quest, I will have Bat Hide in my inventory. I did this thinking I would make a wand once I'm in the tomb. So ignore the hide, I'll eventually switch to the Wicked Hood slash Draymond branch, as you can see here on screen. Also, if you don't have Glarus's Pebble, head to the link in the video description for the wiki page and it talks about where to find it. It's basically at the end of the gnome village. With that all said, let's start the quest. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Go ahead and speak to Iswin. He may or not be there. If he's not there, go ahead and hop worlds until you do bump into him. Once you find him, talk to him and choose the chat options on screen. Next, speak to the other elf as well. Once that's complete, if you have a games necklace, teleport to the barbarian outpost. Bank any jewelry and any combat gear you might have. Of course, except for the weapon that we'll sneak in as previously mentioned. And head to the area located here on the map. Go ahead and use Galarzo's pebble on the tomb. Now in case you get a message that says, it fits perfectly, but nothing happens, then you do have some piece of combat gear and you'll have to rebank. But, if everything is fine, you will now find yourself in the small dungeon. Now pause. If you don't have the Galeros' amulet, this is your chance to obtain one. Go ahead and open the chest and search it. You can do the old drop trick method where you just get an item, drop it, grab another one, drop it again, until you have a few. You of course only need one for the quest, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra. Next, craft your weapon of choice. Then head south and slay the moss giant. Once slain, pick up the concentrated seed and speak to Ilund, or however you pronounce this name. One of the elves where you started the quest. After the conversation, head to the Bextorian Falls, south of the Barbarian Outpost. This, of course, is the same steps you took during the Waterfall quest. Make sure you're wearing your Glarel's amulet, board the log raft. Use a rope on the rock. Use a rope on the dead tree. And enter. Of course, again, assuming you have the Galeros' amulet on. Once in, 
head to the Eastern Room if you do not have a key yet. Search the northernmost crate to obtain said key. Then head to the western area, past some fire giants. Once you're in the last room, click your seed to plant it. You'll get a very short cutscene. Once that's complete, return back to Iswin where you started the quest. Talk to him. And quest complete.